Welcome, I'm an Annihilator and you're at Wonderful Gaming. It's really great to have you all here. So today is the start of my new series called How I. Now in this series we're going to create, destroy, blow up and just generally have a lot of fun. So if you like that kind of stuff, please do share the video far out, give it a thumb up button and do subscribe. So today we are starting off nice and gentle. We are building an iron plant in Satisfactory. So let's get straight into it. See you now. So first things first, we need... A place to build an iron factory we've already done that we've got our six iron mines down here these are all at least mark twos and then we have not one not two but 14 smelters because that's how many smelters you need to deal with six mark two iron mines so the whole ground floor here is allocated towards just smelters because as i upgrade the miners more i'll need more smelters this is just building materials and all our manufacturing is going to go upstairs. But first things first, we need a building. So let's finish the building. Welcome back. So what we have done is quite a lot. So let us give you a very quick tour. I've finished the entire building of the factory. You can see I like the look of it quite a lot. It's got the full roof on which you can't really see from the outside but it goes all the way down there. And so let us get inside very quickly. Okay then, the ground floor is this floor here. This houses all the uh, the mines themselves and it feeds the mines in from that. Okay, I still need to put that wall in. But it feeds all the mines in on convoy belts through holes in the walls. And uh, it is just at this point dedicated to the smelters, all 14 of them. So there's 14 smelters there. Once all the iron ore is smelted, it then feeds it up through these handy uh, item elevators to the second or first floor depending how you want to look at it and this is just another exit to outside this is a different mine this mine's uh, Cantorum or how you pronounce it so let us go up to the first floor oh, that needs to go let's uh, must click um, and it's got a glass floor as well so I like the look of that so this was quite a lot of work to get it the way I wanted it to look. I wanted like this 1970s industrial vibe, factory vibe going for it. I just wish there was an actually a lift between floors. All right, so there is the roof. I really like the way this roof turned out. Um, you can see it's fully enclosed, the whole building. So it goes up and down. And there's, you'll see here, on, you can't really see it, but that's actually a one meter thick uh, wall or floor and that is an, a four meter thick floor so that's just to hide because this glass gives a small gap between the wall and the floor so that's what I did to fix that all right so just very quickly our both all our smelted ingots come up here they go into these two uh, buffer containers and then they get split all right, so they come out here and then you can see there's two lines. The one line feeds to the bottom of these uh, double stack containers and the other one feeds to the top of the double stack containers. And this is mainly our bulk item storage for our iron ingots here. So this is just a simple manifold system that goes into these containers. Then how I've done this, this might not be the perfect system. I have yet to test it, but according to the maths, I have got six constructors here and six contra uh, constructors can make 20 iron plates a minute so that's 120 so I have got these two containers to feed these so it's three going there and three going there I might need to balance load balance this a bit but this is the my manifold system that's going to feed this I'm not going for a load balance system I'm just going for a manifold or buffered system and that's the way I'm building this currently there should be more than enough um, iron to feed this lot if I need to extend more constructors I will do that all right so this is just to make iron plates then the iron plates once they're produced will come out the back you see they all come out a neat long stripe here then the, some of them 50% of the production will go out the building and into my bulk storage which sits uh, over there all right so that's my bulk storage for there you can see all the previous conveyor belts running there then once that is done or once 50 percent goes the other 50 percent goes into this one here as another buffering system or storage system so this is for to make the iron rods are uh, not iron bars but um, 
anything else that needs a two-step or three-step process that will build in the rest of the factory. So this will feed out the back. I haven't gotten that far, so I just want to give you a quick update before we carry on. So it'll come out here, and here's where we'll make the advanced iron plates and anything else and screws. Whatever we need will go through the rest of the factory over here. So the rods and all of that. The steel stuff is not going to be produced in this building. It's going to be in a different building. But let me carry on building this, and we'll be back once it's done. It's great, guys, but this turned out terribly. Let me show you. The building I'm happy with. I love the design of the building. The building came out exactly the way I wanted it to. But oh boy, I I I I don't I don't this gone messed up. So uh, well, it. All right. So nothing really changed down here. So we still got all the smelters down there. It's up here where I've made the balls up. Let's get up these stairs. So we've got our, our constructors, which makes iron bars. That's great. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Then... Oh, sorry. Our iron plates from our iron bars. Then it goes into these storage containers. That's good. That's good so far. And here it starts start going sideways from here because... Ah... Uh, this is just a nightmare. Um, so this is making screws, and then the screws go into here, the these assemblers, to make the reinforced iron plates. So I compacted things so tightly in here. I know there's tighter ways you can build and all of that, but it's just, it's so spaghetti. I, this is not what I wanted. This is so far from what I wanted. Well, what are you, you're living your best life ever there. Okay, anyway. But it's functional. Everything works. It's producing items. Um, it's just not very... I don't like the design the way it turned out. So, yeah. Um, Alright, so... And it goes across bottom floors. And, uh, yeah, so... And this one makes the last bit of it. This one was okay the way it turned out. But, again, it was... These are the making the modular frames, and those go out the window there, and these are coming out to this one, and these make the rotors, and these come out here. So it makes everything I need. Uh, it's just, I severely underestimated how much space I'm going to need for this. So next time, I'm this building, I'm done with it. I've built this thing now twice. I'm not going to do it a third time in this location. I've got bigger plans for you. So... Yeah, yeah. So here we've got going down here. Was well, this is the only space I could actually fit all of this in? So, I've, th sorry, this is actually making the rotors going out. So let me just show you outside what's going on. Where am I? Um, because I'm not gonna, as I said, I'm not gonna change this building again. I'm just gonna leave it as is. So all of this feeds out. To a set of conveyor belts, more spaghetti. Okay, turn on my torch. So it comes out here, you can see I'm making more screws than I know what to do with. But screws, you always got millions of screws. So everything comes out, you can see some iron bars there, and some steel plates there. So building, I'm happy with the design, as I said. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Big. Well, that turned out to be a bit of a disaster. That isn't the way I wanted it to go, but... If it, I, I worked within the space I wanted to work within and I got it to work kind of. The machines do run at 100% efficiency though, so I can't complain too much about that. It's just not very pretty or aesthetically pleasing on the inside. So I just want to go back in that building. It, you know, mm, 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 works for me. But that's it for this episode. Next episode we are going straight into Minecraft and we are going to be upgrading a village to my ideal village so how i build my ideal village is the next one so look forward to that it'll be coming out very soon if you like this con content please do give it two big thumbs up share the video far and wide and please do subscribe you'll really make my day and as always keep safe keep well and i'll see you next time cheers for now cheers